Hi everybody, hi every spirit, welcome very much to Azosu Empires, today we have the third match out of a best of three set between Vortex in the color blue playing as the Mongols and Recon in the color red playing as the Holy Roman Empire. This is the round 6 of the group stage of the Elite Classic brought to you by EGC TV and it can, you can catch them live casting games on Saturdays and Sundays on Twitch and you can catch me live casting and playing Age of Empires 4 on Twitch as well using the links in the description down below. If you enjoyed the video leave a like and watch more on the channel we have a lot of action coming through we have more matches from the main event we have matches from the group stage from the Golden League which is the players that lost in the match that gave you access to the main event all of them made a league on their own to have more chance to be in a competitive environment to have more chance to be seen and casted by content creators you know what i'm saying and i think that's a great idea from egc tv shout out to them and shout out to you watching as well so we have regions a new map which i kind of like i think sometimes it's too centric focused it's too focused around these three gold nodes but it is what it is it's the map it's one play one way of approaching the game, right? And we have the Mongols against the HRE. Back in the day, Mongols would be a very hard counter to the HRE because they just pressure, 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 and the HRE could not really build a good momentum. But right now, Mongols are a bit weaker or people got a bit stronger because the Mongols were not nerfed. They just got a bit stronger and now they, they don't suffer as much against the mongols but still mongols have the advantage right over the hre i think recon to win this game needs to play really really well vortex as well but vortex i think has a, a little bit of an advantage but remember mongol players cannot go for keeps so they cannot guarantee or secure i mean they can with a bunch of outposts but not with keeps and there is no trade as well so there will be no silver tree build on this map for Vortex is sending in the good old composition of the Tower Rush, but the Oaken Chapel already up for Recon. Here we go. Outpost being built by Vortex, burning down the house. Remember, when Mongols burn down buildings, they receive a bonus on resources. It's the raiding bonus. That house. You can use emergency repairs on it, right? I, I don't know if that's valuable, but you can. It's burning! Mongols already gain. Oh, and you can burn it again and win the resources again. So, yeah. You're giving extra resources to, to Vortex there, Recon. And another building on fire. It's not. It's not. Vortex going up with Deer Stones, very classic. Archery range coming out. It's now on fire. More resources for the Vortex. The tower is up. Villager in the tower. Spear goes back. Another house will be burned here. No? Yes? Almost? Uh, that's more resources for the Vortex. Let's go. And the house gets repaired again with emergency repairs. Rickon does not want to lose that house. He wants to save all the wood possible. And stable coming in as well. Hey, that's a lot of spears. Five spears. To burn the house again. Oh, they're taking TC damage. That's not good. Let's go, let's go. Vortex. Good pressure here. Bring the can. The can. The can now. And the new age begins for Vortex with Deer Stones. Giving him extra movement speed for every villager. Actually, every unit inside of the EM network. Horsemen and archers coming out for recon. Will Barrow. Arrow Slits. Veteran Spears. No, not veteran. Uh... Um, feudal age no just normal horseman and hardened spear coming in everything for vortex a lot of upgrades and right now he has pinned recon in his base house gets repaired oh villagers getting picked by the horseman no they get saved small army from recon is ready to defend horseman and archers they want to burn the. Ooh, Recon moving a lot of villagers. 
that is horsemen here. Not a lot of yeah, not, not a lot of horsemen. You you lose one villager. He loses two villagers. I think he'll be able yeah, he is able to burn this down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. I mean, four villagers though. You lose four villagers to burn down one outpost. Your enemy invested 150 or no, your enemy invested 100 on that outpost and you lost four villagers for that. Recon going for the forward deer against the Mongols. Mad land. And there we go. Two spears. Not enough to defend against that cavalry raid. Go, 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 go. Go, Vortex. It's your birthday. Go, Vortex. It's your birthday. Actually, it's not Vortex's birthday. And here we go. Villager goes down. Recorn losing five villagers so far. It's a great Mongol aggression. That's that's what I told you. That the Mongols have an advantage because of this early aggression that they can do. Remember, Mongols can double produce units on the cost of stone. But hold on. It looks like Recorn is the one double producing. He has a lot of units. Almost double the army of Vortex. Vortex running away with a horseman and the knight and the, the Khan. Horseman and spear and archers moving into recon into vortex territory they want to do some damage what damage can they do the khan has been killed uh oh that's gg vortex give up right now horseman raid horseman raid incoming we'll just try to build outpost it's too late Villagers needs to run. Villagers building the outpost. No, it's the mining camp there. There is two spears to defend. I don't think that's enough. I don't think that's enough to defend there. Uh, some archers here already chilling. No problem. Alright, well done. Uh, Mongol Ovu. Under pressure, archers coming in. Now that that will be burned down. Yes, Vortex will lose its Ovu. His Ovu. All right, Vortex being chased away. There we go. Fight happening. Vortex doesn't want to engage right now. Vortex killed eight villagers, bro. That's great damage. For the Holy against the Holy Roman Empire, that's great. Because the more vills the Holy Roman Empire have, the more boosted vills they have, right? So it's an exponential growth. So if you kill some villagers, you also are kind of killing the bonus, right? A new Khan rises. No player is close to the Castle Age. We can switch to income per minute. Horseman trying to look for some raids. There is a huge army ready to defend there on Recon's side. Okay. Alright, okay. Players analyzing their situation, preparing the army, going for upgrades. Range, uh, melee damage for Vortex, range defense for Recon. Uh, because Vortex already has range defense and already has ranged attack. So Vortex is more, he's more upgraded. Army from Recon. That's a big army, bro. Can he get some builds? Oh, but Vortex also has a big army back at home. This... This fuel all feudal all in action. I like it guys. That's my type of game. Let's go. Archer picking down the horseman. Let's go. Horseman distracting the army from recon. Meanwhile, Vortex is building more archers and more spears and whatever. Ooh, but Recon is up to 25 archers. Vortex up to 21. 
Recon up to 12 horsemen, Vortex up to 14 horsemen. Recon also has some men at arms here though, that can make the difference. He needs more of them though. Like don't have your... Yeah, these guys should not be chasing the horsemen, right? Big army from Vortex ready to engage here. Uh oh, he attracted Recon to a party, which is a trap. Uh oh, I think that's bad for Recon. I think you lose this fight. He's caught very out of position. And the archers from Vortex cleaning the archers from Recon. The horsemen from Vortex cleaning the horsemen from Recon. But the horsemen from Vortex are going down quickly as well. The men at arms did not survive from Recon though. He needed a, a bit more. Bro, that was a good fight for Vortex. Because Vortex knew what's going to happen. Vort th that was Vortex battle. Recon just came in. I think his units even started to fighting later. Because they were just walking. Right? Recon entered Vortex plan. Vortex situation. That's why you lost this battle. Right? Also because Vortex micro matter. You know? Let's go. Vortex keeping up the pressure. Now has more 10 military units. He has 10 more archers than Recon. Getting some more vills. Killed 9 villagers so far. He's 10 villagers ahead. 12. He's also on the deer. Does he have... He doesn't have survival techniques. He could have. Castle Age. And I think when Recon sees that, he's going to type GG. Because he lost 10 vills. He has gold in the front or on the side, which also was perturbed. He is not able to build enough military lead. He's going for economical upgrades though. So maybe not right now. He'll, he'll give up because his economy will grow a little bit. Plus the boost from the Alkin Chapel. I think he can make him either a castle or a high pressure right now. But let's see. Vortex edging up with the step grid bot. Giving 50% more gold. It's very good. A very good landmark. A new age begins. For Vortex. Recon does not GG immediately. So he wants to still fight this out. They have the same military units. But Vortex will soon start those upgrades. And Recon is doing some walls. Okay. He has a good army to defend as well. His income per minute are actually more on the food than um, Vortex. That's a lot of gold being delivered right there. Mongol coming in. Let's go. Vortex already with veteran archers and veteran horsemen. No, just normal horsemen. But those veteran archers upgrade will make all the difference. He'll be able to kill men at arms easily. Especially if he goes for the second ranged damage upgrade. And that's veteran spearmen. But wait, he has no spearmen here. There's only four spearmen. And they're not even here. Oh no, yes, yes they are. Okay, okay. Recon close to Castle Age. And he, he can go Burgrave and trample Vortex. Vortex not going for the relics just yet. I mean, I think every time you wage up to the Castle Age, first and re then the Holy Roman Empire, you have to go and grab those relics. Recon changing his villagers to this gold down here, because this gold here is very exposed. And it's the Burgrave! But Recon throwing it in a very sus place. Very exposed. Army is there to defend. Recon losing more villagers. He lost up to 13 villagers. He cancels it again and goes down here. That's a way better place, I have to admit. Spears, but Vortex saw that. Spears gonna be there denying that up, that age up. And I've seen Recon throughout this whole tournament make, being interrupted on his age up. And GG gets called. Okay, Recon. Okay, GG gets called. Vortex takes the win and he takes the set. Alright. 
Vortex said not again. I was about to say, Vortex has been caught a lot of times off guard, building his landmarks, and once again, and he says no more. GG, Vortex, take this home, this, take this win home with you. And Vortex takes the set, and we enter, we close this set. Guys, if you enjoy, watch more games on the channel, and I'll see you soon. Esoteric Cloud Surfer, surfing out.